Right, just a bit of an overview then now on this in this this video on on the way that alts might be responding on this in, in this next few days. So what we look, what we're just looking for briefly is for Bitcoin to stay stagnant, or perhaps maybe even drop ever so slightly, but not make its huge move, which we are expecting a big move up or down. Uh, we look at this chart here. We might be looking for a bounce on the crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin, um, and we have made some higher highs. So it actually does still look okay for for the alts, um, but you know, if it loses this next leg here on this chart here, we could all be coming back down to where they started with, more or less. I mean, things like Ethereum are probably going to be okay, but but won't escape some some um, some drops. So. Um, Bitcoin dominance at 70.19%. We really want that to come back down to at least 69 or lower. And ideally, for a, a, a real big boost in alts, we want it down at 66 or lower. So we've, uh, I've made a video on XRP. You can check that one out. Let's have a look at EOS then. So EOS here on the um, uh, USDT. So a little look at the tether. And it actually looks a little bit bearish, to be honest with you. Closing beneath all moving averages on the 4-hourly. Um, apart from the... Apart from the 200 simple, uh, on the daily, um, it's still in bullish territory, but it really does have to recover from this level that we're at right now. Um, this is the situation that all alts are in. It's a make or break area. If the areas now break, uh, then we're coming back down to square one. Um, if they can bounce from here, then we are probably I'll probably say we're looking to make a higher high than our most recent high of um, of last last week. Um, so EOS not looking too bad actually could could be looking for a bounce and again I would say that with all alts by judging by this chart here um, which is the chart we can go by in it's not altcoin dominance it's just the total market cap excluding Bitcoin and uh, that one with this one is as well so EOS at its last stand before a collapse probably back down to um, $3.60 to as w the worst level would be back to where it started at $3.00 20, which I'd be quite surprised at. Um, Ethereum then, so we'll have a look at Ethereum, one of the stronger ones at recent. Um, it wasn't the first one to move, I'd say EOS was definitely the one that le led the uh, the charge on this alt rally, uh, but um, but Ethereum picked it up and Ethereum has certainly showed us that it's got the strength to carry on. Um, we'll be looking at this chart now on the 4 hourly, we're above all moving averages um, uh, other than the most smaller time frames, but we've just found support here on the 10 day uh, close, which is quite good. We need to get above the 21 at uh, the center of the Bollinger Band here. On um, the daily chart, let's have a look at that. Uh, daily chart that's looking pretty bullish actually. Um, daily chart looks like it wants to continue, perhaps a little pullback to this area here um, of uh, 20,419 Satoshis. Uh, let's have a look on the tether from pairing to see if there's anything to to this one, so yeah, this one was pretty bullish as well. The only moving average we're underneath is the seven-day close. We're finding a bounce on the ten-day close, which is a good one. Ten-day close is quite steep, so what we really want to do is we want to continue this move to the up. Now, the good thing about Ethereum moving is that it might encourage all the others to move because it's one of the uh, biggest capped coins that you've got in the altcoin market. So any big moves made by Ethereum will 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 help bring down the Bitcoin dominance. So that'll be good for whatever coin you're holding. Generally speaking, across the board, it should be good because like I say a big move for Ethereum will bring down the Bitcoin dominance if Bitcoin stays where it is um, now everything is all dependent on Bitcoin Bitcoin falls it will bring everything down if Bitcoin goes up uh, extremely fast um, alts might move up as well but they won't move at the same speed perhaps and then they will certainly drop off after a while and then you'll start to lose lose money that's how I expect it will go so yeah when we're looking at Ethereum and EOS they are on their last stand Ethereum looks stronger um, but um, EOS could be the one that makes the bigger move if it does make a move at all. Uh, and then we'll just go to a really small cap coin, Matic, which we like to look at on this channel, don't we? So we'll have a look at this one. And this one's a bit of a different story. Uh, this one's bearish, I'd say. Uh, perhaps maybe looking to make a bounce. As we can see, a bounce taking place. We broke out of this descending trend, which was good. Uh, but we didn't break out of it to skyrocket. But at least we've broken out of it. Um, so our lower levels of support on Satoshi values are going to be around 120 Satoshis, around about this level here. This is where we always find our little bounce. So if for whatever reason things break down, um, if we fail to bounce from here then it would be a really sad story and we could be coming as low as 80 Satoshis but to be honest with you, um, 120 Satoshis often finds a decent support for us on this coin and to be honest with you, we're looking at the 4 hourly chart now, we're beneath all moving averages and um, 
uh, even though we're, we're climbing up we're, we're not going to be making huge moves yet on this coin this coin will make big moves I'm pretty sure of it but at the moment it's too small cap it's not really got enough going for it to really to really boost it, its its value um, maybe a good area to accumulate at though I'd say probably would be um, right so I'll leave it with you there so on a, on a whole I would say the alts are looking to maybe make a big bounce but if it fails to make this big bounce at the levels that they're at, they're, they're at right this moment then it's going to be 10 to 20 percent pain uh, for some of the especially small cap ones uh, maybe even some of the large cap ones so it's a very risky area um, it's like I say, they are they are all at the level what I would expect the bounce to happen. Um, and if you were looking to make a trade, not that I'm a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. But what I would do, and what I am perhaps maybe planning on doing, is is placing a long on on some of these coins um, with a very very tight stop loss involved. So things like XRP, EOS, and Ethereum. Um, might be worth, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I might actually put a long on those, but with a very tight stop loss. And also, I'm not expecting them to go to the moon. I'd be expecting them to take out their most recent uh, local high, not their all-time highs of of the last week. So probably a 10% move would be a bit extreme. Looking for about a 5% move on some of these coins, perhaps um, uh, over the next few days to the up. So yeah, tight stop losses, very tight stop losses, uh, low leverage, let's see where we go with that. Alright, thanks for watching, take it easy, goodbye.